Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a video sponsored by Chocola Markers. I was recently sent this 10 pack of Chocola um, wet wipe chalk markers and this is a 10 pack and you see there's a whole variety of colors from some really bright fun pinks, and greens and purples but then there's also the neutral colors of brown, black and white and I'm really impressed with the range that they chose. I think that if you pick up this pack, you kind of get um, a little bit of every color you're going to need. And I like that they went with the brights because I think that that looks good on a lot of the black surfaces that you're likely to use when playing with chalk markers. So I'm going to be using them on the um, black cardstock to see how they work and on chalkboard stickers and a variety of other surfaces. Just going to keep, you know, kind of experimenting and playing with them. I had originally um, thought that this would be a fun thing to share on my channel because I wanted something that worked on black paper. As a crafter, being able to add color to black in a really vibrant way is something that might be, I find is difficult to achieve. And I like to add color, but I also like that contrast with the black. And so I um, was excited by these markers, and it turns out that they actually do uh, work pretty well on black paper. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you is how I write on on black paper with that. Now these markers are designed for non-porous surfaces so that means like um, like a plastic surface, a chalkboard surface, uh, whiteboards but they do work on porous surfaces like paper and I'll give you some tips for how to work with them on the black paper but first I'm showing you how you get the marker started. You have to shake the marker up and then um, depress the tip up and down quite a few times. I think it says for about a minute before the ink starts to flow. It explains it really well on the back of the um, packaging and these markers are um, kid friendly and they come off of your clothes and um, your work surfaces and things like that. So when I use them with my stencils here it's going to get all over it but then it's going to wash off and so that washable feature is pretty nice as well but they will be permanent on this paper because it's a porous surface. And then on a non-porous surface like the chalkboard material, the chalkboard stickers I'll use later, they are wet erase. So they don't erase just by you wiping them like a dry erase marker. They're wet erase, you'd have to apply water. And I think that that's pretty key and makes them a little bit more interesting. So in terms of them drawing on the black paper, you're going to see here that this is the very first time I'm doing it and I'm struggling a little bit to get even coverage because the first time that I swiped the marker across, it was really opaque, so it covered really well and I didn't see any of the black. But then as I started working and um, continued to swipe, I was noticing that it wasn't as opaque and I continued to experiment and realize that when I swiped too quickly, it was less opaque and so the key is to slow down a little bit and make sure that you're giving enough time for enough of the ink to come out of the marker or enough I, I guess it's not quite an ink but a mix between like an ink and a paint and you want to just make sure that it's given enough time to flow out of the tip to give you that even coverage but you can go back and layer the chalk marker back on to the areas that were a little bit less opaque because it is absorbing into the paper so it won't pull it off when you're using it on paper. Now if you go over it on a non-porous surface it's probably going to pull up the color a little bit more just because on a non-porous surface it's sitting on top of the surface whereas here it's going to absorb in. And as you can see, I mentioned before, they are really easy to clean up. I just took some water and I was able to clean it right up off my craft sheet and right up off my stencil. Because it does activate with water, I'm sure that you could, even if, if, you, if you wanted to give it a shot, spray the stencil with what's left on there and then dab a piece of paper on it and see what kind of effect you might get um, just from what those leftovers are. So I wanted to see how it would work on chalkboard because I've heard that chalk markers um, aren't as good on chalkboard surfaces because chalkboards are more of a semi-porous surface whereas a whiteboard is a true non-porous surface. And I found that the uh, I got pretty good results in terms of the chalkboard sticker. They write similarly. They're just as opaque on the black chalkboard 
but I was able to spray this with water and it completely erased. Some people have mentioned that um, it doesn't erase as well on chalk surfaces and I think it's going to be a little bit dependent upon the chalk surface that you use and also the package recommends letting something dry for about 30 minutes before you try to erase it. Now in that instance I didn't but you know just the recommendation if you feel like it's not coming off as easily. So a way to use chalk stickers on a card, I picked out these chalkboard speech bubble stickers and I thought it'd be fun to make a card where you could basically change the sentiment. So when the recipient got the card, they could display it and write different things on it. And the way to make that fun, interactive would be to use a photo. And so I'll send this card to my cousin. It's a picture of me and her. And I'm going to write a message on it. But then when she displays it, since it's a chalkboard, card she could change the messages and um, interact with it and make us say different funny things to each other and I thought that would be really fun for a card to send to somebody but also you know definitely use it in home decor if you got a chalkboard picture frame those are really popular right now and write messages on them um, for the first day of school which I know a lot of people have already had the first day of school but some haven't you can get some of those chalkboards from the Target dollar spot and write in the information in them some fun colors. And these markers are available on Amazon and I'm going to leave you that link below. And since this is a sponsored post, they offered a 10% off code and I will leave the code in the video description. So if you want to check out these particular markers, please go to the video description and get that code so that you can save as well. I wanted to also test them out for labeling because I really liked the vibrant colors and I thought that it would add some fun pops of color. And so as you can see, they write really smoothly on these non-porous covers here. So these are just um, plastic containers that I believe I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just labeling the top lids. Now these would be nice because if you change what's inside, they're wet erase and it will come right off. But you don't have to worry about this smearing in your craft room. So when I stack these two on top of each other or I you know, rub my hand across it or rest something on it, it's not going to come off because it is wet erase and not dry erase. So until you apply water, that's going to stick. Now, you can scratch it off because um, it is kind of like a paint. So it's not completely free from harm in that sense that, you know, like I said, you could if, if you... Um, took your fingernail to it you could scratch it off but in terms of just typical things brushing up against it it's not going to come off of those surfaces and on the paper of course it's going to absorb right in now what I'm doing now is trying it on vellum because adding color to vellum is super tricky in my opinion how to get sentiments onto it or um, designs and so I was super impressed that this was another way that I could use it in a traditional crafting way and work with vellum. Um, you know, I don't use a lot of chalkboards in my crafting, but I do love to use black paper for high contrast, and I love the look of vellum, that mix of that semi-opaque, and I love the way that this vellum looks layered over that high contrast black background, but then I can still get really opaque um, color and embellishment on top of it, with the chalk markers. The markers write really smoothly and they fully cover so you can add glue behind it without seeing it. Now you want to be really sparse with the glue because if the glue leaks out from under where the letters are you will see the glue through the vellum but as long as you keep the glue under that chalk writing it will stay um, it will stay hidden because that chalk marker gives a really, really solid coverage. And so overall, I really enjoyed experimenting with these markers and playing with them with my traditional crafting. I didn't want um, markers that would only work on chalkboards or whiteboards because that's not what I do in my craft room. I, you know, I work a lot with paper, vellum, things like that. So I wanted to make sure that it would work for the things that I like to do. But I do really love these colors and could see taking these into my classroom as well, where we do use you know, the chalkboards or the whiteboards and that sort of thing, uh, because I could really see the kids getting a kick out of these as well. And so I'm just sharing a few more projects and the pictures, close-up pictures of the projects and how you can use them on a variety of crafting surfaces and in your card making. If you are interested in these markers, again, 
All of the links and information is below. Thank you to Chocola for providing these markers and providing a discount code to my subscribers. If you are interested in some more crafting videos, you can subscribe to my channel. I share a lot of card making and coloring tutorials and things like that. And thanks for watching. Bye.